All right, so after careful deliberation, <laughs> we've decided the best course of action would be to pull it out, um, get it machined, and then probably get our own parts and put it back together. Um, so I'll set you up over there. We're gonna take all this off, uh, the starter out, but luckily, since we took the head off, it's actually gonna be pretty nice to get those bolts that hold it to the transmission there. So, barring any surprises, this should go fairly quickly. So, transmission, engine mounts, the radiator, core support, fan, tranny lines, starter, and that should be it. So, all right, I'll set you up. All right, sorry my phone died yesterday at some point while we were pulling this out, but um, anyway, it's out. Uh, got everything all taken apart here. Got the crank out, cam out. Here's the pile of junk. It's a lot, a lot of stuff to take off of that thing. Anyway, uh, we're gonna ship this out, or not ship it out, we're gonna take it out to the uh, machine shop uh, later on today. Um, they should have it for a little bit. They're just gonna bore it, uh, probably not too much. Hopefully this stuff isn't as deep as it looks, but I think once they hone it, it'll be fine. Um, and then we're gonna get a rebuild kit and put it back together. So it's gonna be a little break in the action here until we get this back though, and all the parts ordered. So it doesn't look too terrible. Huh? So. That harmonic balancer that was on there was a pain to get out. So, but I got it. And we'll be, like I said, we'll be shipping it out today. Uh, they'll do a head job as well while we got it. Looks like there's a couple that got a little hot. Um, but yeah, didn't go too bad. Uh, just had the old, my buddy had an engine hoist that we borrowed. Um, had to take the whole front grill assembly off had to drop the trans a little bit get those two top bolts these things are i don't know why they put <laughs> six point heads on there um so we'll probably change those out to regular bolts so you can actually take it out without using uh, a six point socket so because they go up here which is right where the bell housing meets so, and it's really close to the firewall, so you can't get a socket in there. You gotta come in from like a downward angle with a um, universal attachment there. That was fun. Uh, luckily, whoever put it in didn't put them in super tight, so that was good, I guess. But, yep, yeah, we will uh, we'll get it going here and we will continue the video. All right, so we decided to try the hand hone before we brought it to the machine shop, and kind of glad we did because it seems to have fixed everything. And we tried a piston in there, and it sealed up good and tight, so should be good enough to put it back together. Uh, we're just gonna order some parts, up, and we'll just clean everything up and skip the machine shop. So we'll just continue doing that. <laughs> 